day three in the marina. And so far things are going well. I'm gonna put about a half day in this morning. <clears throat> As Taylor's got calls in the afternoon. I am about to refinish our teak on the bowsprit. We uh, was sanded it down yesterday, we honestly, we're not gonna make it look brand new or pristine, but it's gonna look better than it did. And then tomorrow, fabricator comes out to deal with the chain plate. Um, and also, I think the rigger will come out and help me with the force day. And the rigging is supposed to arrive today, which is like, like right down to the wire, the last day have it arrive on the last day I can possibly wait for it. So hopefully everything's good with that order because God, that's going to be a nightmare. Something's wrong. But so far it's been pretty straightforward. The only thing that's popped up is our refrigeration is having a lot of trouble keeping up with the, the hot temperatures. It is supposed to be near 100 today, which is crazy for the Pacific Northwest. So one more thing, always something on boats. I think I'm just gonna put some coats of sea tall on this bad boy and see how it looks. Feel the heat through the camera. You know what? It's actually not that bad. You know, being on the water I think helps helps a little bit, but it's cer it's certainly warm. You guys gotta go. Go get a hose down. Not to super soak those dogs. Penny, you have to get your super soak. Today is my coaching call day, so I was buttoned up in the belly of the boat. And I think the internal temperature of the boat is a little over 90 right now. So it was a little bit of a steamy day, but you know, it was a steamy day for Mike too, because he was out here unpacking all of our rigging. Yes, there is rigging. But it's 93 degrees here, and it's 107 degrees like away from the water. Really? 107. Oh. So it's 107 degrees in the rest of Bellingham. So yeah, we got lucky with it being 93. So it's a little sweaty, but there's a little gentle breeze out here. I don't know, I kind of, I kind of enjoy it to be honest, but, and we just ordered some pizza. And I'm hungry and I'm a little toasty and I'm looking forward to eating some pizza and calling it a night. Tomorrow morning, we have some, folks arriving to help with the rigging project and the installation begins so lots of work happening tomorrow so it's gonna be an early night lots of rest prep it in the day This is now day four in the marina, um, and it's gonna be a big one. I got the fabricator coming out um, to cut out the chain plate, and I also have a rigger coming to help me with the force day. Hoping the rigger can help me with this guy today just because there's like bearings that run all the way up through this foil here, and inside this foil is a wire like that guy. I just don't want to screw that up. So today's going to be my first day going up the mast, at least uh, since we've been in the marina this time. Can't wait. But at least it's not 100 degrees today. You guys ready? You guys ready for some rigging? You look great. 
It got windier than it was earlier. Yeah. It was just like the halyard that we had it hooked to it was like right on the back side of the toggle, so it wanted to push the pin out every time I pushed it in. And... But I got it. You like my hat <laughs> Yeah, I do. It's really cute. <laughs> I asked Hal if he thought it was on his hat. He said he didn't give a shit what people wear, so he thought it was on I, I don't either. I, it's not a judgment, it's just a fact. Units, thank you very much. Okay. Makes me feel like a Panamanian uh, drug dealer. I think Moira has the same yeah, hat. She's a badass. <laughs> I think I should be smoking a cigar. I think you don't know a lot about hats. <laughs> it's or okay. Drug yeah, yeah. not that early but we're just that tired um, and we have, we have sort of a, a special set of challenges that we're facing today so today's task is to move via from the slip that we've been at for the past few days drive it through the marina to sort of like a work slip where we can get some welding done meanwhile our boat is just totally in sham you know shambles but it's like held up with lines and you know, the mass is not entirely supported and so it's a little bit like you're not really supposed to be driving a boat around that looks like this so um, and it's actually a little bit windy like windier than we would like it it was howling yesterday so we decided to wait till today it's still pretty windy today and getting out of the slip that we're in or back into this slip later is also going to be Interesting. This slip is super tight. Just the amount of space you have to turn around, how tight you are to the giant cat right behind us. So, <laughs> day four. Every piece of that. <laughs> All right, the metal fabricator, metal expert guy is here, and we're gonna check the integrity of our chain plate. Apparently, there's a small, looks like a crack in the forward face of the chain plate, and apparently, if you hit that with a TIG welder, if it's a if it's a real crack. Um, the crack will just open up. If it's not like a deep problem crack, it'll just fill with the weld and then you can just polish it up and you're good to go. So fingers crossed that it doesn't open up and that saves us a huge amount of time and money. So that's what we're worried about. All right, so we said the chain plate looks good, which is freaking awesome. So now we're just having them <clears throat> kind of make a slot around it, so we'll get much better drainage. Um, oh, that's huge. All right, here's the slot that got made around our chain plate. Um, so now we'll get good drainage around around all the parts so we don't get mud packing in there. Wow, 
out. We got the force day sorted out. It looks awesome. And we're just finishing up a couple of our more side ding dongs. <laughs> It's after 8, it's like after 8 p.m. So we are just connecting these last three. We've got the inner force day and two side phalanges. And then I think we're gonna call it a day. Mike's been out here for just ever, 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 ever. In between work, I've popped out and helped where I could, but Mike has just been doing this for hours. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, send it back down and I'll send this up. Okay, yep. Join us next time as all our hard work to prepare Via for her offshore voyage is nearly complete. I'm a little nervous about today because it's kind of a big one with a lot of moving parts. It is one long piece that attaches all the way at the top, attaches at that spreader, attaches at that spreader, and then connects here. 